Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to you. It's a beautiful, frigid day out here in the high desert. Hope life's treating you well. Today, I just want to talk about compost, organic matter, how it's cost me a lot of money, and how I got a plan to fix that issue. Now, sometimes things just fall into place so perfectly, you know? Now this right here uh, used to be a failed compost pile that I tried and it has a bunch of recycling bags and stuff underneath it. All the hay clippings on top I got for free. Now I know it's not like a giant pile, but it is 100 gallons, you just can't tell. It's a few feet wide of a pile. Um, basically I was at a feed store and they were getting a new shipment of hay in and I happened to be there looking at price and stock tanks. and. I see the employees like scraping up all these clippings on that are underneath the pallets and dumping it in like a giant 150 gallon stock tank. And I just ask, uh, hey, what do you do with all those clippings? And they look at me like, uh, we're going to throw them in the dumpster, of course, <laughs> you know, and uh, me being the person that's spending money to get organic matter and knowing its value is horrified, right? So I say, uh, hey. How about you just take all those hay clippings and dump them in my truck? And so, I happen to be buying a stock tank for another project we're doing. They dumped them in my big 150 gallon one and I came home and dropped it here. This is the other remnants. And uh, that was one trip. Longer story short, I end up talking to the manager and then her manager talks to her manager and they give me approval to drop containers off, put my phone number on them, my name, they will start putting all the hay clippings that they instead of threw in the trash in my containers. And then I will just get a call when they're full and ready to be picked up. And then I'll go bring a couple more empty ones and then drop them off in their place and bring the full ones home. Uh, I can't believe how easy this was. You know, they were glad to give it to me. Um, and actually really excited when... I told them I'm going to use it and stuff, you know, not just give it to animals, but make compost out of it for growing. They're like, that's a great idea. Yeah, we'll tototally give it to you. Come put your containers down. And it got me to thinking, and well, it's been about a week or so, and I now have uh, seven local companies, a golf course, a yard maintenance company, a livestock auction yard who will give me all of their manure, and they produce yards and yards of it a day. I don't even know how to get that yet, but I don't think I'm going to pay for organic matter much anymore. Um, I'm going to try to just get all these these people to, to drop it in the container that I buy and then come pick it up for free. Almost like, you know, the world's best trash pickup service, if you think about it. I just show up, I guess, and grab it from you, and it disappears. It gets even better, I guess, because I was at Lowe's, and... Uh, the lady, like an employee there, was helping me, like, drag the, like, five giant 50-gallon trash cans that I was buying. Uh, after I'd done the calculations on what's cheapest per gallon to do this, right? Because now there's a cost associated with retrieving all this stuff. Uh, anyways, found out it's a 45-gallon trash bin with wheels and a lid from Lowe's. Lady was helping me roll them all the way up. And she starts asking, like, what are you doing? And... You know, I'm just not one to, like, hide my great ideas or anything. I like being excited about them and talking with them about to people about them. And so I was telling her, and she's like, that is the greatest idea ever. Um, I have, like, ten trees, and they all produce tons of leaves. Uh, what do you, Can I get your phone number? Here's my card. And she gives me her card. And so I'm sitting there thinking, like, ten trees. Like, wh there's no trees anywhere. Do you know how good one mature tree to me would be producing leaves and so I went back to the trash canal grabbed another one went up to the front paid for all of them pull out her card while I'm sitting there at checkout call her up like hey I met you 15 seconds ago why don't you come meet me and so uh I asked her before she had a truck and uh she said she did so I just basically wrote my farm name on it put my phone number on there Handed it to her, said, all right, put all your leaves in there, and I'm, give me a call when you want it taken care of. 
and she was all super happy about it. And I can't believe it. Like, uh, this is just amazing. It's the easiest thing to get infinite organic matter now. It's just trying, you know? I just got to approach people, tell them what I'm doing, what I'm looking for, and they seem more than happy to oblige. So that's going to be one of my main plans because money is going to be flooding into this place now in the form of savings, right? Money's going to stop going out for organic matter, maybe even if I'm lucky, for some of my fertilizer, right? Because the livestock auction yard, that's tons of nitrogen in the form of manure. So this is a great day, great week for me, for us really, this whole farm. I'm super excited about it. I've got six 50-gallon containers out to companies now that will be giving me their waste on a regular schedule. And I'm going to try to make it so I go and pick all of them up at once, you know, if I can. Say like, okay, I'll be there tomorrow or something, right? And make them all do the same day pickup or whatever, if possible. Whatever though, it's worth it. A few hundred gallons or one truckload of organic matter, no matter how it is acquired, is worth the fuel. All I gotta do now is figure out how to get all that manure from the livestock auction yard that they come and load it with your tractor. Like I was talking to awesome neighbor Larry about it, because he's the one who gave me the lead on that company. And uh, he said, oh yeah, I went there one time and asked for just a little bit for my wife's garden. And I, I happened to have my empty trailer with me and I was in my truck and I come back and before I could say anything, my whole truck and my entire freaking trailer was filled to the brim and overflowing on the sides with shit. Or, excuse my language. <laughs> manure. And, uh... <laughs> he had to take it all home and he said, like, some neighbors stopped him on the way and said, Where'd you get all that? And he didn't answer and just said, You want some? Go get a shovel. <laughs> and so they uh, unloaded, like, the whole trailer or whatever. But yeah, so this livestock auction place uses a giant tractor every day because they auction off livestock, entire herds of it, and they will hold the herds temporarily while the auction is taking place. And so they produce a ton, literally, tons of manure and have to pay to dispose of it. So I'm thinking, like, there's no way, even if I show up with an IBC tote, they're just going to laugh at me. Like, my bucket's not small enough to fill that tote, even though it's 300 gallons at a time. Even a trailer is too little at a time for this place. And so if I want to make it worth their while, my while, gas efficient, i got to get, like, some giant container. Like one of those huge yard containers of waste that you just fill and fill and fill when you're like demoing a house or something, you know? It costs a few hundred bucks to have it like show up. And then they take it somewhere, usually to the dump. But if I can instead get them to go to the stockyard, set it there for like a week or whatever, fill it to the brim with manure, and then come back here and drop it off, I will have an incredible amount of manure and organic matter that is well worth the price. Because, I mean, whenever I go into town to grab organic matter in the form of that humus stuff, you know, like the dark black shredded bark, it's almost $100 for a truckload. It's like 66 something plus tax. So, wow. That's the news this week. My hands are freezing now. I was not smart enough to wear gloves. So I'm going to let you all go and have a wonderful Friday afternoon. I hope your weekend's full of awesome plans, doing something fun. See you next time. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. Weekend's almost upon us. I'm out here because I noticed something weird. This solar panel wasn't sitting flush. i just been walking by this every day, you know. And just something today caught my eye, like the reflection wasn't all the same. And I look over here, and this solar panel's 
totally tilted. It looks like all these panels had like walked this direction here. And uh, it kicked this one off the support. So I've just been kind of shuffling them this way back where they should be. And I'm just going to lift this panel up, set it back on the support, and then uh, get it back in place. And I'll be getting uh, another 10% or so of my system, hopefully.